Hey everyone, I'm Moses from the developer relations team here at Amazon. Our team has completely redesigned the app submission experience to help make it easier to submit apps to the Amazon App Store. I'm really excited to show you this new experience, so let's get started. If you are an Android developer new to building with Amazon App Store, here's a quick refresher. Fire OS is our device operating system that is based on the Android open source project. Existing apps built for Android with Java, Kotlin, React Native, Flutter, and other cross-platform frameworks can be ported to Amazon App Store for multiple devices. So when you submit an Android app to Amazon App Store, the majority of your development work will be integrating Amazon's SDKs along with testing your app on Amazon devices. Before you try out the new app submission experience, you'll need to create an app. If you have not already done so, make sure to create your free developer account at developer.amazon.com apps. You'll then create a new app submission and add some essential details. To get started, you'll want to go to the dashboard at developer.com dashboard. You can either click add a new app directly from the dashboard or go to apps and services, my apps, and click add new app. We'll use an Android app for this submission demo. Fill out your app title, Choose your app category, which will help index your app and make it more searchable. And if you want to have customer support info that's unique to this app instead of using your default info, you can change that here. Click Save to finish creating your new app submission. This brings us to step one, where we upload the app files, indicate the languages supported in the app, and edit any details we need to. The first thing you'll want to do is upload your app file. In this example, my app file is pretty small and uploads pretty quickly. But if you are uploading a large app, you'll be able to keep going through the submission process while it uploads. You can take this moment to edit the app title and category, along with any other details that may have changed. Click yes or no about whether to let Amazon apply DRM. DRM stands for Digital Rights Management and it ensures that only users who purchased your app can install it. Please note that you must use the current App Store SDK to integrate it. Afterwards, go ahead and select the languages supported by your app. Once you've selected the language and your app file is done uploading, you can click Next to move on to Step 2. Step 2 is for targeting your app, including the devices, locations, and audience segments, as well as answering some essential content policy questions. The first part of targeting your app is choosing the correct devices. Your app will automatically be targeted for any device that it meets the minimum requirements for. If for any reason you prefer to exclude specific devices from being able to install your app, click Edit Supported Devices to pick and choose which devices you want to support. For example, you could deselect non-Amazon devices if you don't want your app to be available on Android phones. Keep in mind that this list is just the devices you are targeting, and final compatibility will be determined during Amazon's review and testing of your app. In the availability section, you can choose whether you want your app to be available in all countries and regions where Amazon sells apps, or just select locations. In the target audience section, you can choose which age ranges you believe your app should be available for. Again, the final availability will be determined during Amazon's review and testing of your app. In the content rating section, you'll take a brief questionnaire describing the kind of content your app contains. In the user data privacy section, Select yes or no if your app collects user data or transfers user data to third parties. If yes, you'll take another questionnaire that lets us know exactly what kind of data your app collects or transfers. You'll need a privacy policy URL if your app collects personal information. Click Next to move on to the next step. Step 3 is where you'll add the key metadata for your app, including the price, description, icons, videos, and screenshots. In the pricing section, select if your app is free or paid along with the price you want to charge. You can also earn revenue via in-app purchasing and I recommend you check out our video about that. In the description section, you can add your display title. This is the title the customers will see, so if you want to have a different internal title from the public one, you can do that here. Most devs will just keep it the same. Add your descriptions. The short one is for mobile devices and Fire TV. The long one is for the Amazon website. They can be the same if you want to reuse the short one for the long one. Add bullets and keywords to make your app more searchable. Next, you'll upload your images and videos. Make sure you've created assets that follow the specifications mentioned for each type of media. 
Click Next when you're done. The next step is Step 4, Review and Submit. In this section, we ask you to confirm all the settings, select an ideal publishing date, and provide instructions for how to test the app. And you're almost done. Here you'll want to review all of the data you've submitted so far. If you missed anything in the previous three sections, there will be a red note telling you what you still need to do. You can go back and fix those issues. In the Before You Submit section, let us know if you want to add a future release date, if you don't want your app to begin publishing immediately after testing and review. If you want your app to go live as soon as possible, just leave it blank. Read the export compliance and accept if you agree. Add testing instructions such as login and password if there are any specific steps our app testers need to follow to review your app. Let us know if you need Amazon Maps redirection since Google Maps won't work on the Amazon App Store. And then assuming you've reviewed everything and are satisfied, click Submit. Congratulations, you're on your way to having an app live in the Amazon App Store. You'll now have access to the App Status section where you can track your app's testing and review process. We'll let you know if there are any issues or when your app is ready for publishing. Be sure to check your email for any updates. If there are any issues, I recommend taking care of them as quickly as possible to avoid any unnecessary delays. If you have any questions, be sure to ask us by using the Contact Us form or the Developer form so that we can assist you. Thank you.